Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of a car in Adobe Photoshop. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is have an image of a car open in your Photoshop. And we're going to be bringing it to a new layer by clicking Ctrl and J. And as you can see right down here at the bottom, I have two layers of my car. So what I'm going to be doing from here is hiding the original layer. And I'm going to be focusing on our layer one, which we just made. And I'm going to rename this to color change. Once this is done, we're going to come down to the bottom of our layers panel and we're going to be adding a vector mask. Now, what a vector mask does is it's going to allow us to remove and add details of our car really easily. So what I want to do to select our mask is come to the right of our layer and make sure our white box is highlighted. As you can see, there's four little lines around it. You want to make sure this is enabled and we're going to come to our color selection on the left hand side and we're going to have two colors here. We're going to have a pure white color and we're going to have a pure black color and we're going to be using this to paint onto our mask layer which is going to remove options and we can also re-add options later so if you make a little bit of a mistake you can really easily fix it so just to give a quick example of this we're going to be opening up our brush tool by clicking b or coming over to our left and clicking on the brush tool and if we paint anything with black on it's going to remove from the layer and if we change our color to white and paint anything with white on it's going to re-add to the layer so now that we've this done, we're going to be able to change back and forth really easily if we want to add a little bit more to the car or remove a little bit later on. So now that we've disenabled, we're coming up to our selection tool on the left. It's going to be underneath your magic wand. We're looking for a quick selection tool and we're going to be highlighting the part of the car that we want to change color. Now, in this case, I don't want to change any of the trimmings in black. As you can see, there's a couple little bits here that are in black. I don't want to be changing the color of this. Of course, if you would prefer to, you can, no problem. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be zooming in on a part of the detail of the car. And we're going to be starting to select some of it. And as you can see, when we move around with our mouse, it starts to highlight similar colors in an area. And we're going to continually do this until we have all the blue that we want to use selected. Now, if you accidentally select too much, as you can see, I have the badge here selected and a couple of parts in the grill here that I would prefer not to change color. It's very easy to deselect them. All you want to do is zoom into the part where you have a quick selection selected, hold the alt key and you will notice the plus in the middle of your circle will change to a minus. What you want to do is highlight over the part of the area where you don't want selected. As you can see, I'm just going to select around this Austin Martin badge right here and it will be removed from your image and it's going to be the dashing lines around it. So what I want to do is continually do this and highlight all the parts of the color you wish to change on the car. So for me, that's all the blues. And for me right now, I'm going to be skipping all of the part where I do this on screen because otherwise this could take a while. So I'm going to get back to you guys when this is finished. What you're going to be doing is right clicking inside your selection and we're going to be selecting inverse. Now, once this is done, we're going to make sure we have our black color selected. We're going to open up our brush tool by clicking B and we're going to be painting black all around our actual image, which is going to remove all of the background and hopefully just leave the frame of the car. Now, the way we did this method, we can really easily go back and change any of the car later on if we wish. So for right now, I'm going to be clicking Control and D to deselect and I'm going to be unhiding our layer on the bottom. If we come down to our layers panel on the right, I'm going to be rehiding our background layer and we're going to have our original layer on top of each other. So as you can see, it doesn't look any different because they're going to merge together really naturally. Once we have this done, we're going to be coming down to our layers panel and we're going to be looking for this half circle. We're going to be clicking this open and we're going to be adding a hue and saturation layer. Now, once this is added, we're going to come between our layers of our color change and the hue and saturation layer. You want to make sure your hue and saturation layer is on top of your color change layer. We're going to be coming between these layers, holding alt until we see this little symbol, which is going to create a clipping mask. We're going to be clicking on this and once this is affected, we're going to be seeing this little arrow pointing down, which means it's only going to affect the layer below it. Once this is done, we're going to be opening up the properties for our hue and saturation by double clicking the circle on the left and this little box will pop up. From here, we're going to be clicking colorize and then we're going to be able to play around with the hue of the actual color and the saturation to determine the intensity of the color we're going to be putting on our car. And as you can see, it works really well. We can change the car color to anything by affecting our slider right here and it really, really easily changes and affects. Now, as you can tell by doing this, we're noticing there's still a little bit of blue sticking out in the background over here to the left and a little bit down here to the right. Now, thankfully, the way we did this with our mask, it's really easy to go in and change this. All we have to do is select our color change layer, click on the mask on the right hand side. And if we want to remove anything, we paint with black. So I'm going to be zooming in. You can see I left a little bit of green here by accident. So I'm going to be opening up my brush tool. I'm going to be scaling it down just a little bit. I'm going to be making sure we have black selected over here, which we do. And if I paint over anything in black, it's going to remove it from our layer and it's really easily done. Now, if we want to add anything to our layer, we can do the opposite and paint in it in white, which is going to add the green effect to our layer. So if we left anything out, say if we change our mind, for example, we actually want to paint the color onto the headlamps. We can really, really easily do this here. And as you can tell, it still looks pretty cool in this method. But of course, we can remove it really easily by going back in and painting in black at any time. And that's why we did this method. It's really effective and it makes it really easy to go in and edit it at a later time.
Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you want to support me, I'm going to leave a link down below to my PayPal. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.